See, the U.S. veterans just blamed everything on the communists. The U.S. veterans said that it was all the communists' fault, that the communists were, were just... Tr the, the, the U.S. veterans would go in and they would force people to work, and then when they finally got dug out by the other people, which were considered communists, um, they, would, uh, they would say, the communists are taking over and enslaving those people blah, blah, to try and get reinforcements to, to, to go to that area to free those people so they could then just be shot and be re-enslaved by the, by the U.S. veterans. It was all a lie. Everything was a lie. That's what the U.S. veterans were doing. That's why China finally kicked them out. They were just enslaving people. There's a difference between the American veterans and the and the U.S. veterans. The U.S. veterans include John McCain and uh, Richard Nixon and all of them. Trying to get a foothold on the world. And like I said, all they were really doing was, was, was going over to China and basically uh, putting guns to the heads of Chinese and, and Germans and, other, and, and Russians and then forcing them to work taking all their good things and then trying to get them back to America or United States, U.S. basically. Anyway, and basically just, just pretty much involved um, a Texas dock and some other places where, where Two-Tone Tommy had set up operations uh, and other stuff. Anyway, um, like I say, you can deal with your own crazy past and your own history and basically know how pretty much and why pretty much no one liked the the, the 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 Vietnam veterans or the or the veterans of the U.S. veterans. They're U.S. veterans. They're not even American veterans. Anyway, Germany was the hero. China was the hero. Russia was the hero. The U.S. were just people trying to get money and stuff, and then trying to steal boats, hijack boats, and take over ships or take over factories so they could get live a live a lavish lifestyle because they didn't have any money and all they had was guns and Jimmy Carter Richard Nixon all them and while they were you know so that's why why a lot of veteran US veterans say well we weren't the good guys you know they, they would go in there and shoot leaders they do assassinations and they were basically just killing people you know and then and then, and then they would go back and and they would tell people to support U.S. You know, and, and, and that's where U.S. isn't really a country. They're, 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 they're a military operation, a paramilitary operation living within, within the American border. And basically just pirates and thieves and rapists and killers. Not good people at all. Because it involves the, the White Star submarines and other things that were around up to some year. And then they just regarded it as national security and, um, and top secret. Like I say, um, and then they just blamed Russia and Germany. They blamed everyone. First they blamed Germany. Then they blamed Russia. Then they blamed China. And they were just crazy psychopaths with guns. And a lot of them got killed. A lot, a lot, a lot of them got killed. Because they, they were just going with the shoot first you know, be the first one to shoot, and then you'll be the one that will live. But, you know, they weren't. So. Anyway, because they knew my military officers wouldn't shoot first. Only a crazy guy shoots first. But they had guns, and, 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 they, and they decided that they were going to use them. You know, to basically get those factories taken over. That's what Nixon, JFK, and Jimmy Carter were doing. Only thing is, though, that, yeah, and they would have killed me, but like I say, I'm more than just the president of America or the American leader. I'm the creator of humanity and exoskeletons. I was just on vacation. Anyway. So anyway, whatever. As far as regard trying to kill me, and that's why they were having such a hard problem, hard time trying to kill me, was because I had 12 races and was very much a hero to existence. And basically the one that was stopping stopping them from, from doing such bad stuff. 
And then once they found out that 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 I was the one behind, you know, all the security and all the protections and all the other stuff, well, then they came after me, figuring that they would cut the head off the snake, trying to capture me, trying to take me hostage, so they could just walk into those factories and walk into those countries. And that's what the U.S. and that's what Jimmy Carter. I mean, talk to Jimmy Carter, Richard Nixon. Of course, he planned to blow everyone up by year 2000 anyway, so... I mean, hey. I mean, hey, you, you, you know, when you believe other people, when, when, when you see a news broadcast and you start listening to people, when you start hearing word of mouth, or when you believe some guy like, like, like Rick Bush, whose party name was Rick Bash, or Rich Bash, or something like that, um, and, like, and like Godney was, was Rodney's party name or whatever, you know, you... You, you know, I mean, you know, you can make a lot of big mistakes. You know, when, when someone tells you to go shoot someone, you, you don't always know why. Anyway, so, you know, a lot of bad stuff happened. And in the end, uh, Nixon and John McCain and everybody else was torturing, was torturing women and children and, and raping them, having sex with, with six-year-old girls and doing whatever they wanted, and snorting all the coke or cocaine or whatever they wanted. Very much the very, very worst people in existence, and they could do anything they wanted, because everyone thought that they were good people, for the most part, because they had young 20-year-old and 18-year-old and, and, and kids running around doing stuff with them, with guns. Anyway, I don't really know. I mean, it's it's like it's it's like pick pick the bad guy. I don't really know. I mean, I mean, there's a world there's a, there's a world of free will and people just doing whatever they wanted, with guns. Like you see, a, if you have a problem with a police officer, just shoot him. That's what they were doing. Using using uh, snipers and people to just take out police departments. I said John McCain is responsible for for, for, for taking out the police department in uh, in in in, uh, in Vietnam. And the worst part about 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 what what they did in Vietnam was the fact that the police department was was American citizens. They didn't care who who they shot. They were American citizens working in a police department, and they killed them all. They walked in there with military guns and and, and did and did a did a United States raid on um, on a, on an American police department in Vietnam. And killed everyone, and then blamed the Chinese. They didn't care who they shot, or they, they didn't. They didn't care if they shot your sister or brother. They didn't care if they shot. They didn't care who they sh they had to shoot. You know, they didn't work for them, so they shot them. And they were American citizens. They shot reporters. They raped reporters. You know, if they were going to shoot someone, they would usually rape them first, because like, why waste the meat? I guess. One of them said that. Anyway, it's so, some of the things that, 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 that you would hear from the files and find out from the files of what the U.S. people did, you know, it's just disgraceful, despicable. I mean, it makes cannibals look even even better than, than, than what they were doing. You know, they saw a world of, of 77 million people and, well, you know, they were just slicing out their little piece of the pie. Anyway, that that's why you 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 later on find out about in Kuwait how the how the Republicans and Democrats were facing off against one another and actually trying to get some a couple of rich people that came along with them killed. There were mostly civilians in those tanks, rich civilians or something like that, and they were trying to kill them. They're trying to kill American citizens by shooting them in the back. And then claim, be, being able to claim that it was a war. And so they died. They had done that many times before. In World War II and other years. Like, oh yeah, yeah, hey, come on Tom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Tom got killed. There's even times when, when they set up attacks where the other side knew who to shoot. They're actually going up against, mil against mercenaries. And it's like, yeah, yeah, they'll go first and then you shoot them and then we'll follow behind. And then that's what, and they were saying that up. That's what the Republicans and Democrats were doing. So the people would know not to shoot John McCain or Richard Nixon or whoever.
He would just shoot the, the rich people that were with him or whoever was with him.